Hey guys, welcome to Fashion Kitchen today, and we're making a pie. My best friend Erica reads pie from her book, Shut Up and Cook. So this is my friend Erica's book. It's called Shut Up and Cook. I love it. It has like a lot of family recipes. A lot of them are vegan, and this is a vegan apple pie. So I peeled like one, two, three, four, five apples, Granny Smith, Gala, anything will do. And I'm using those, and then I'm also using a... Um, ready-made vegan pie crust right from Whole Foods and then um, just earth balance it's a butter substitute made from olive oil this is agave and then nutmeg cinnamon and allspice and you can even add a little bit of clove if you like clove and we're gonna saute the apples and put them in the pie shell and cook it for 20 minutes and you've got something that's great for breakfast lunch, dinner, snack, healthy, vegan, light, locale. Hey guys, so um, now it's time to season the apples that I cut up and put in here. So a little agave, and I gotta tell you, I'm an eyeballer. So like the agave like that, three or four squirts, not too much. Um, allspice, and I usually smell things. I like a lot of allspice, because um, I just do. It's a very, it's a very apple taste. A little bit of cinnamon, not too much, and then nutmeg. I just think nutmeg makes everything better. I always um, use fresh nutmeg, and I just grate it. And I got to tell you, I'm one of those people who each time I get a fresh nut. There you go. So this is that vegan home style pie crust and I get it at Whole Foods. They might have something like it at Trader Joe's or other places, but I just love this pie crust. It's so light. So you have to separate the pie crust very carefully, okay? Um, and you put in the bottom crust, poke, some, poke a couple holes in the bottom, like this. Uh, 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 uh. And welcome to my very unprofessional cooking show. And then just stick it in the oven at 350 for like 10 minutes so that the bottom gets um, you, you, so the bottom gets a little bit crusty. You don't want it to be soggy. You know what I mean? Because um, it's it's like not cute when this part of the pie is crusty and delicious, and then it's like soggy on the bottom. So I'm just gonna pop it in at 350, and then what I'm gonna do is um, saute the apples with a little bit of the earth balance. I will be right back. So I got this bottom crust filled. I can't really pick it up too much. Well, it's a little hot, ow, but it doesn't matter. So this is the browned bottom crust that was in at 10 minutes at 350. Right now, here's the top crust. And I'm gonna lift up the edges really carefully so that I don't rip it. I mean, you can cut it and ribbon it and do fancy stuff with it, but who's got time for all that? Um, I don't. I'm just trying to get some healthy homemade food on the table as fast as I can. So I'm peeling this out really carefully. This could be an epic Veronica fail, or not. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Now, when I go visit my sisters, who are bacon fools, we will make a pie crust from scratch. And my sister, who's an oncologist, she's been vegan for over a year. And my sister, Teresa, who's uh, a math specialist, she's a retired educator, she can cook anything. But today, simple, healthy, easy. Ta-da! Back in the oven for 20 minutes. 